Realme has officially finally launched here in Dubai and I managed to get my hands on with this. This is the flagship X2 Pro. It offers some incredible specs at an even better price point, but is it as good as people are making it out to be? Let's find out in this unboxing and first look review here on MCON Reviews. So this is the box that the Realme X2 comes in. You can see here, pretty standard packaging. We have the Snapdragon 855 Plus, 64 megapixel quad camera with the Realme logo and a picture of the actual devices on the front. Then on the side, you can see the Realme X2 Pro uh, branding over here. It is the 12 gigabyte variation with 256 gigabytes of storage. So um, this comes either in an eight, a six gigabytes or the max 12 gigabyte variation. Let's just pull this box aside and show you what we get inside. So first of all, you're gonna get this, hey, welcome to the Realme family. Inside here, yes, we're gonna get the silicon case. So they've included a free silicon case just to help protect your device and also some warranty paperwork information. Then you get the device itself. Check that out, guys. That looks really, really nice. We'll pull the plastic off in a moment and have a closer look. Further down, the big deal with the um, X2 Pro is the fact that you're gonna get this 50 watt um, fast charger, the SuperVoc charger. So that's included, get the USB-C to standard USB sync charge cable as well that's included. There's no headphones in this particular model, but you do get a SIM ejector tool down there at the bottom as well. So let's give you a closer look at the device itself. And wow, take a look at that beautiful Neptune blue color, absolutely stunning and shimmers with the different light there. On the back, you've got that quad camera set up with the LED flash. We'll talk about the different cameras uh, or the lenses in that in a moment, but you've got the Realme branding on the side over there. Uh, and then that's it. And down at the bottom, you've got, interestingly enough, the speaker charging a port and check that out. For those of you that are three and a half millimeter headphone jack fans, you also have that included down there at the bottom, which is nice to see uh, a brand currently doing in 2020. Then on the side here, you've got the volume rocker and then at the top there, it's pretty flush with the microphone. On the side, you've got a power button and the SIM. When we turn the smartphone on the front, the big standout point on the X2 Pro has to be that front-facing display. So it's a 6.5 inch Super AMOLED display. It's an FHD Plus display. It supports HDR as well. But the big thing here is the fact that it has a 90 Hertz refresh rate. Now, this is something that really is difficult to demo on camera. Um, but once you get it in your hand and you put it side by side with a display that doesn't have 90 hertz refresh rate, you'll really see the difference. Just the animations, this, the going between different you know screens, even on apps, everything is incredibly, incredibly fluid. I really think one of the standout features of the X2 Pro is that display, the 90 hertz refresh rate just makes everything look so much more vibrant. So viewing content, media, playing games, or just your own images and videos that you take with the quad camera on the back are gonna look really, really impressive on that display. Now, as well as that, the front-facing screen does have a front-facing camera. It's a tiered up uh, notch at the top. The other thing is that this display actually has an in-display fingerprint scanner that can be set up for security. So you have the option of either fingerprint uh, display uh, unlock or you can also have the face unlock as well. So right out of the box, I don't think you have to worry much about performance. It's powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus uh, processor. And then when you look at what that's paired up when it comes to RAM, you can go with the six gigabyte, eight gigabyte, or 12 gigabyte variation. You should have no issues when it comes to apps, you know, uh, sort of gaming, any sort of multitasking should not be a problem in that situation. But if you really want to kind of push it, then go with the 12 gigabytes, but that might be a little over power uh, for most users. Now, the other thing to note, it has uh, Android version 9 and Color OS version 6.1 right out of the box. Now, Color OS is essentially like a skin on top of Android. Some people like it, some people don't. I, I really don't mind it. I've actually been a fan of Color OS, so I don't have a problem with that. And there are certain features like, for example, dark mode that can be accessed right out of the box, um, which is just kind of nice to have included. 
Now battery life, well the Realme X2 Pro has a 4000 mAh battery so that's just a little above an average battery capacity so that should give you more than about a day's worth of use if you're a standard average user. Now it really depends what you're going to be using your device for but it's a good indication of how much battery life you should get. But the big standout point is that 50 watt SuperVoc charger that we saw included in the box because a full charge in that is only gonna take you half an hour, which is absolutely incredible. There is something to note, the Realme X2 Pro doesn't have wireless charging, which is a little unfortunate, but I think that SuperVoc charger will definitely make up for it. Next, let's talk about the quad camera setup on the back because this is a big feature of the X2 Pro. So we have a quad camera or four cameras on the back, including a 64 megapixel primary with an f1.8. We have a 13 megapixel telephoto. Now that has five time optical zoom and then 20 time hybrid zoom with an aperture of f2.5. We have an eight megapixel wide angle at 115 degree field of vision with an f2.2 aperture and then a two megapixel portrait at aperture f2.4. Now, the front-facing camera is a 16 megapixel front-facing camera, but those cameras combined are supposed to give you some incredible shots. So let's show you some of the shots that I managed to get with this device. It's interesting because the Realme X2 Pro, when it launched, was boasting the world's first 64 megapixel smartphone camera sensor, and there was a lot of hype around this. Um, for the most part, it takes some really good images. I think for normal lighting and to some extent in low lighting, it does a good job. By default, the images are down to 16 megapixel. Um, and I think most people are gonna be happy with this. What I did notice was the ultra wide images look slightly different when it come, came to the color, uh, the vibrancy when compared with some of the images taken with the other lenses. But again, for the most part, I think most customers, particularly at this price point, are not gonna be too disappointed. Now, in low light, it's interesting because if you use the default camera um, option in low light, you might notice some noise in some of the images, but the nightscape mode is there for particularly nighttime images and low light, and I think it does a good job, as you can see here in some of the images. There is slightly more noise and slightly over aggressive processing that's happening. But for the most part, again, it does a good job. The video is interesting. Um, this is a little look at what the video looks like. And this will record uh, video at 4K at 60 frames per second, and also give you options like slow-mo at 960 frames per second, which is pretty good. So this is a quick check with what the audio sounds like on the video. I've been really impressed with the camera on the Realme X2 Pro. I think it does a good job at autofocus, particularly at 1X. It struggles a little in the ultra wide mode, but in normal lighting at 1X, it does an incredible, incredible job. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the images and the video. And uh, yeah, on first impressions, I'm really impressed. So in summary, what do I think? Well, I think I've been really impressed with the Realme X2 Pro. I think there's a lot to like about this. The thing that I haven't spoken about is the price. Now at the moment, there is a flash sale taking place here on Amazon. You can pick the Realme X2 Pro up for as little as 1,799 dirhams. Now the standard price for this is 1,999 dirhams, which is still not bad. And I think if you look at what you're getting with this device, there's a lot to, there's a lot to like. I mean, you get a super fast charger right out of the box. You get that 4,000 milliamp hour battery. You get that incredible 90 hertz refresh display. Um, you also get that quad camera and the Snapdragon 855 Plus processor. I mean, there's a lot to like. And this is one of the reasons why brands like Realme really pushing the uh, expectations of a flagship device. So you get good specs at good pricing. But ultimately, I'd love to know what you guys think. So leave your comments in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, both of the device, but also the pricing. And I'll uh, see you in the next video here on MQAN Reviews. If you've enjoyed it, smash like, hit subscribe, join the channel, and do stay tuned to my Instagram for giveaways and other stuff coming up. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. I'm MQAN, peace and blessings.